Hi, this is Nathan, your neighborhood arcade and pinball talk guy. Today we're at the Rec Bar in Louisville, Kentucky. We're going to be reviewing Freddy A Nightmare on Elm Street by Gottlieb. Uh, please look for our review underneath the description on our YouTube channel, as well as like, follow, and subscribe on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Today we will be doing some light commentary throughout gameplay, but let's go ahead and get this uh, party started, shall we? Right off the bat, you got some, uh, you know, Freddy Krueger uh, specific kind of uh, soundtrack going on there with uh, the Nightmare on Elm Street uh, soundtrack. Very complimentary to the game. Paddle gap's a little wider on this one. I'm liking the, uh, the layers of the pinball. Here you got the paddle on the top middle there. You know, for it being an older game, I mean, the, uh, the artwork's really good. The toy on there is Freddy Krueger's face and, uh, and kind of like a, an inferno to the back. Definitely a neat little game. It's kind of fun. Now, you do have a block to the left there, as you saw. I tried to hit it more than once just to kind of show you where it was at, but there's a block over there that puts it right back to the right. Uh, ball out area. Really, uh, you know, as far as ramps and stuff like that and difficulty, I mean, there's really not any kind of any kind of uh, high ramp on this one. So, you know, this is a moderate level, even beginner level pinball machine here based upon its difficulty of, of how its table mechanics are set up. You know, artwork is pretty decent on this. It's what you would expect from an older pinball, but it's definitely complimentary. And that paddle gap gets you almost every single time with that ball to the left or the right. Uh, there you go again, there's another prime example. That barrel slash furnace that's in the back back right area of this table is uh, aimed, aimed literally right down the middle. See, look at that again, I just called it out twice. But uh, anyway, you know, really not a, bad, not a bad table. I mean, you got quite a few things that are on here that are very good. The replayability is gonna be there just because of the theme and the way it's set up. Anyone can play this game. So anyway, definitely check it out. Uh, it's worth a worth a play for sure. It's definitely not a filler table. This is one that you could probably collect and play quite a bit. Uh, but anyway, please look for our review under the description of the video and subscribe. And uh, we look forward to our next video. Thank you again for your time today.